Now, next tonight, it's divided opinion in South Yorkshire, and now residents affected by the route of the proposed high-speed rail line HS2 have only a few more days to have their say. One of the main bones of contention has been the proposed demolition of homes, but one parish councillor says he's developed a route which would avoid that. It comes as pressure groups from across Yorkshire meet in Wakefield tonight to voice their concerns. Well, uh, Tom Ingle is there for us now. Tom. Yes, there are tens of people upstairs right now in Wakefield Town Hall where there's been a day-long seminar uh, co-hosted by Wakefield Council and Yorkshire against HS2. Now, they say the case for the rail link just hasn't been made, and they're discussing that right now, putting the HS2 rail link on trial. That notwithstanding, it does seem to be closer than ever because royal assent has been given to the bill that's required to build the first section between London and Birmingham. However, where it gets when it gets to Yorkshire, if it gets to Yorkshire, where it will run in our part of the world is still unclear, particularly in South Yorkshire. The route was switched from the Meadow Hall route last summer to what's called the M18 route, and that requires hundreds of houses potentially to be demolished on one unfinished housing estate. That prompted one resident of Old Denneby to take to the drawing board himself. The HS2's existing route uh, is, is this line here. which It starts, as everything. always, with a line on a map. Andy Fisher believes HS2 would have been better off sticking with their original Meadowhall plans. But when their proposals changed to bring the high-speed line within 500 metres of his home, it got him thinking. The problem is uh, not just for the residents whose houses are going to be demolished uh, in that area, but really indeed for the people whose houses are not going to be demolished, because they're going to have to live with a 250 mile an hour railway line passing their houses on a viaduct. So he devised a new route. It avoids the Shimmer estate at Mexborough, and he believes it will impact far fewer people. So with all due respect, you're not a railway engineer. Why do you think what you've come up with is better than the team of professionals in London? I've spoken several times to the engineers at HS2, uh, and I, I, I've, uh, I know their technical requirements. But to be honest, why they themselves haven't been able to come up with a better route, I'm a little unsure. The consultation about the precise route of HS2 through South Yorkshire continues until next week. They've assured me that I'm not wasting my time and that, uh, that they will look very closely at my proposals. Have they said anything in terms of cost? I know this is not quite your final, final proposal, but is it going to cost more than what they're suggesting? A figure that they've quoted is that uh, my previous proposal that I gave to them was going to cost £200 million more. Uh, this is based on the fact that it's very, very slightly longer route than the existing proposed route. Uh, but I maintain that uh, the level of compensation they're going to have to pay is going to be vastly less. And that's because, as Andy's route travels further to the east, he believes no homes would need to be demolished. He also thinks he's got a better place for a South Yorkshire Parkway station too. The present proposal is for the high-speed rail line to come through those... But there are always winners and losers when you move a line on a map. A valley saved here, a village avoided there, means others feel an impact. The problem with this particular location is that so many people are going to be affected by it. It is a judgement call. The path taken will be chosen by people hundreds of miles from here. Well, this evening we've had a statement from HS2 Limited. They say we welcome feedback and actively encourage people to take part in the formal consultation process. A decision on the M18 line of route proposal will be announced by the Secretary of State later this year, and then HS2 will develop the design plans in conjunction with local communities. You have until March the 9th to take part in that consultation process.